everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for Project Polish. I am attempting to finish 16, 15 to 16 polishes this year and uh, I really need to get on it if I want to uh, finish that many. So far in this project, um, as of the last update, I had only finished two, but I do have another empty this month to show you, but I did finish um, polishes in rollover projects that went it started last year and rolled over into this year. So, you know, the beginning of the year, my um, polish usage for this project was a little slow, but it is starting to pick up. It is definitely starting to pick up. So my empty, um, I frankened it because why would I not franken a polish? I franken everything else. I really enjoyed this one a whole lot. It started as just a clear base top coat kind of thing. And I turned it into like a fuchsia glittery, um, I don't know what you want to call it. It was like glittery goodness. I enjoyed it a whole lot. There was a tiny little bit that was left in the bottom. I try to get out as much as I absolutely can. Um, what was in there that I could not get out on the brush, I did add to my other little Franken polish here. That was a base coat and is no longer a base coat. Um, so yeah, that little bit went into here and um, you know, that one's gonna be there um, till the very end. It's gonna be the last polish standing. If you hear noise out there, that's my crazy family. It is before dinner time and I am pausing in my dinner making to film this because I'm making some uh, shrimp and crawfish etouffee tonight. I wanted something different, was feeling a little Cajun and you know, you know, feeling spicy today, feeling spicy. All right, I'm gonna show you the um, polishes that I did use in the past month, but there is not any progress on them to, um, there, I couldn't make any new lines. This is my i &M Out The Door Northern Lights. I am still here at this purple line. I have no worries that that will get used before the end of the year. This one I used once. This is the Kiss Gel Strong Polish in Pistachio. And I am still right here at this gold line. Might be, like, I do thick lines because, you know, I'm, I'm quick. And I just slap it on there. And sometimes, like, the polish will be at the top of the line. And um, then... At the end of the month, it'll be at the bottom of the line, but it's not like I can put a new line on there. Muddy Potion, um, I think I only did like two accent nails with this one. Um, yeah, I'm still pretty much at that red line. This was not at all a focus polish. Um, speaking of, I forgot to bring one over here. Um, cherries in the Snow, I think I used this once. So it is still pretty much at that bottom line, but I did use a few extra drops in my newest Franken polish, which I will show you in a second. Um, this Victoria's Secret Purple Rain, used it once, and yeah, it's pretty much at the bottom of this line. It's really hard to see. It works really well, and um, I don't want to thin it because I don't need to thin it in order to put it on my nails, but it's frustrating to try and see in that bottle to see where I am. Um, okay. Let's see here. I've got this Essence in Icy Fairy. I did get a new line on this one. You can see there is a slight um, progress there. And it is starting to get to the wider part of the bottle. So I'm very happy with that progress. Wet and Wild Formidable. I was able to draw a new line. Even if it's not amazing, there is some progress there. I just usually um, use that as a glitter like top coat and it works real fine for me. Um, all right, Thimbleberry. There is a new gold line. I did use this. Um, I had it on my toes and um, I did enjoy that. I've got a different color on my toes now and it's the one that I have a lot of progress on. Um, this one I actually do have as a glitter topper right now. I'm not even telling you what they are. This is Revlon Sunflash. Um, you can see there's um, a slight progress there. Of course, the bottle is getting a little bit wider. I apologize, I haven't been telling you what some of these are. Um, this is an Avon Glitter Striping Polish. I have some good progress on that and I will show you why in a second. And this is Nina Canary. Bam, look at the progress on that. But, but, don't get too excited with that progress because I frankened, I frankened this shade right here. Of course, I have a topper on it, but um, I used my old Del Sol polish bottle 
I don't know if you can see, it's up to here. I used a little bit of my Franken. Where did I put that one? Ah, I've lost it. There it is. Um, this, I put a little bit of this, some of the Canary, a couple drops of cherries in the snow, just a couple, and then a little bit of this gold to mix and get this this luscious goodness. Don't pay attention to those lines. That's for the original polish that was in here. So I'm like about right here. Ironically, it's um, just below this purple line. But until this is done, um, my yellow is not going to be done. There is still a little bit in there, but like you can see where the line is. But I, I've been craving an orangey coral kind of um, polish shade and I didn't really want to bring another polish in. I am determined to get some polishes used up and out this year. I had an empty polish bottle. I actually have several empty polish bottles, so I figured, you know, throw some stuff together, see what happens. You know, the color is going to be different than anything else that I am already working on, so that's always a bonus right there. So that's what I did. I played, I had some fun with it, and um, yeah, I will update you on this one every month as well, even though it's not officially a polish in here. All right, and the very last polish, um, there was no frankening going on, but there's a lot of wearing. This is Revlon Streetwear in the color Chilling. I used it a lot. I was up here at this gold, now I'm down here. I did a pedicure with this and I did several manicures with it. I really like this on my toes when it's warm out and I'm wearing sandals. I don't, just the pop of blue, I just really enjoy it a whole lot. So, I feel um, pretty darn good about where I am. I wish I would have more done, but I feel like a lot of these are getting much lower, so I'm not really super worried about them. Um, you know, the Franken, I can have that probably done in a month or two, which means this yellow is going to be pretty daggone close. Um, my, my gold striping polish, that could go really easily, and I feel like if I... If I really put some work into Thimbleberry, maybe do a Manny Petty with that, I could probably get that one done. I feel I feel pretty good about it. I, I think that, like I said, even though I only have three done officially in this project, um, I, I feel like there's going to be a lot more empties coming up in the near future. Let me show you what I am still working with. Let me pull the ones out that I am done. I did not swatch the one that I just finished because it was originally a clear coat when I brought it in. And yeah, so this is my color story right here. I'm okay with it. Could I put some more exciting stuff in there? Sure, but now that I have, actually, I, I have this on my nails too. That's my Franken. I feel, I feel like I can play with this. I do get a little bit bored, but you know, if I get too bored, I'm gonna Franken some more. That's just how I roll. But I feel good and um, I'm very happy with with how this is progressing. Let me know how you are doing with your project polish this year. I am curious to see if I'm the only one that has been Frankening their pro their project polishes because, um, you know, I I'm like part mad scientist and part just mad. So you know how that goes. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.